All right, so it's Jim Bergman out here uh, with True Tech Tools, and we're going to go through uh, how to do a, an evacuation. I had a friend of mine uh, setting up a system today, so we just stopped out, and uh, we're going to go through and actually perform the evacuation and show you guys how to set up the uh, the evacuation kit, and uh, which we have right here. Um, we're going to show you how to get that thing set up, and we're going to show you how to properly evacuate the system. So, what uh, what he's got here right now is we. Uh, got the system um, this, these are his gauges set up and uh, he just did a, a nitrogen sweep push the air out of the system has it on a standing pressure test at a couple hundred psi it's sitting here uh, ready to roll and uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hook the uh, the blue back up to his pump we're gonna test his pump first to make sure his pump will pull down uh, to below 100 microns no power yet Let's see. there we go all right, so we got a small amount of nylog already put on all the fittings on here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to test this pump out and see how, full, how far down the pump will pull on its own. All right, so the pump's already down to below 17 microns, 15 microns, 14. So the, the pump is uh, very adequate for doing what we want to do. So let's go to the next step. Pull down, 9 microns. All right, so I was fighting these core tools, getting them on here, because there's just not a lot of access the manufacturer put in this unit. So what I had to do is take the two screws out of the bottom of the uh, service valve here and just lift this up a little bit to get it in there, because you want to be able to pull, pull these cores out, because the cores are a huge restriction when you're doing your evacuation. So now I got the core tools open. I'm going to go ahead and pull the valve cores out. Got it on there seated. One of the key things you want to do here is you want to make sure you're keeping everything clean while you're doing this. So that's out. Pull that out, make sure I grab my core. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook up the uh, the core tools or the, uh, the evacuation rig to the pump. And uh, I'm just like grabbing it. We've got a we're going to put here on the top. Take the tee up. We've got our larger hoses here. Again, we just keep everything capped so it's clean. Now it does take a second longer to set all this up, but we're going to save a tremendous amount of time is in our uh, evacuation speed. So while we're putting a little bit on the front end, we're going to save quite a bit of time on the back end with uh, getting this down here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is pull this guy off, and I'm going to pull the rest of the pressure off the uh, pump. Now the only thing we've got left to do here is looking for micron gauge. Right to the port of the side of the core tool here. All right. Vacuum pump. And I'm going to slowly crack this valve here and let it handle that pressure. All right. And now we're Good to go. So that'll start reading at about 20,000 microns. Three thousand. Two thousand. Three 
900, 800, 700, 6, 5, 4, 3, Now, obviously, as we get a deeper and deeper vacuum, it's going to go slower and slower. But right now, it's been running for less than five minutes, less than three minutes probably, and we're at uh, 200 microns uh, with this pump. So we're going to let this run a few more minutes, then I'm going to isolate the core tools, and we'll see what our vacuum, how stable our vacuum is and where it levels off at. Um, but uh, you can see how quickly we can get down below 500 microns. The important thing is know now is that we do a standing pressure test and let this sit for a minute, make sure that we're not having any problems with outgassing. I'm going to valve off my two core tools and we're going to let that stabilize. So now there's no vacuum pump on this. You can see right here, here's our, our, uh, our leak rate. We're at 0 0.6, 0 0.6 um, microns per second of rise right now. Shadows on it. We're holding right there at 296, 297. So we're gonna go. We're gonna let this run a little bit longer, and we'll just pull this down just for good practice. You see our, our leak rate indicator showing we're at about 0.6 microns per second. So, you know, it's slowing down and that's to be expected. Uh, the deeper the vacuum gets, the, the harder it is to pull. So we're at 216, 15, 14. You can see that's still dropping off. That's exactly what we'd expect to see. Uh, the, uh, the deeper the vacuum gets, the slower we're gonna go. We're at 212 microns right now, and, and uh, typically this is what we consider a good finishing vacuum. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna give this a few more minutes to run, and we'll see where we end up at. So now our, our indicator's at zero, which means we're, we're not making any any progress. Right here's where we stalled out at. We've been on here for about uh, 10 minutes or so, and we're not rising appreciably. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and say this is. Uh, uh, good to go on here. Now I've got the core tools isolated right now and what I don't want to do is I don't want to take my micron gauge off yet because I don't want to um, I don't want to introduce air into the system because if I pull the micron gauge off we're going to pull an air right through the right through the side of the core tool here. So I've got these two closed. I'm going to go ahead and shut off my pump and we'll disconnect our two hoses here. That's the little looking one. So. Yeah, can't get to the big one. All right, so now we're going to just crack this service valve open here. Oops, get it all the way in there. We're just going to break the vacuum. Once our gauge says high pressure here, we're going to take it off. All right, put the pores back in. 